South Korea is facing a dwindling number of young people as a result of having one of the lowest birth rates in the world. Welcome to Asia Today. I'm Yoon Hee Kim. Joining me to discuss this is Kwan Woo Jeon, reporter in Seoul. Kwan Woo, um, first of all, why does South Korea have one of the lowest birth rates in the world? Hi, Yoon Hee. Well, uh, there could be tons of individual reasons for that, but uh, many experts uh, uh, in Korea say that uh, the skyrocketing cost of raising children and educating them uh, is one of the major stumbling blocks to increasing the birth rate. Um, also, they say uh, the still insufficient or lack of uh, social and state support for child care uh, can be another main reason as well. Right. So the government came out with a report today. What did it have to say and what, what are the numbers specifically? Right. Uh, South Korea's youth population is shrinking badly. Um, the recent gender uh, equality ministry reports say the number of those aged 6 from 6 to 24 uh, fell to 9.8 million last year. That marks the first drop below the 10 million mark since the country began compiling relevant data back in 1970. Right. And um, in your opinion, how do you think this will impact the uh, South Korean economy? The economy has already been slowing down. That's right. Um, yes. Basically, the falling number of young people means the dwindling number of energetic young labor force available to the economy. Uh, as you know, a lack of workforce will make it pretty tough for the country to sustain its growth. Policymakers and experts here suggest that women, elderly people, and foreigners should be better utilized to make up for the expected shortfall in the labor force. But progress has been pretty uh, slow here. Mm -hmm. And what about the future? I mean, is this uh, decline expected to continue? Is that what the, the experts think? That's right. Uh, the fall in the youth population is forecast to accelerate. The government expects the number of young people to drop further to about uh, 8 million in 2020 and 7 million in 2040 and then 5 million in 2060. It's not a huge surprise uh, given South Korea's low birth rate, the country's fertility rate, uh, which means the number of births a woman gives in her lifetime is stand, standing at around 1.24. Uh, that's among the lowest in the world. Very interesting. Thank you so much for joining us, Kwan Woo Chun, reporter in Seoul. For more on this story, you can go to WSJ.com. I'm Yoon Hee Kim for the Wall Street Journal Digital Network. Thanks for watching.